If you're practicing Spanish on your own at home, how can you prepare for real life conversations? The answer is a game. A game that's super simple, but really fun to play. Normally, when you're practicing Spanish on your own, your practice is kind of repetitive and predictable. And that doesn't really prepare you for real life, where conversation topics can go in any direction and you have to be ready for whatever comes. So here's how the game works. Let's start with just my normal Spanish flashcards. So I have a stack of flashcards that I've been practicing with. So here I have, don't leave that there, which is no dejes eso ahí. And it's fine to practice with Spanish flashcards by themselves, that can be really productive. But if I have to use this sentence in real life, it's gonna have some sort of context that it fits into, and I have to be ready to use it in some random context. So that's the purpose of this game. We'll take these little flashcards that I'm practicing with and we'll put them into conversational topics. So now I have a different stack, and this is conversation topics. So you can see we have my favorite places I've traveled, or maybe things about my job that most people would find surprising. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick one of these topics at random, and then I have to fit my Spanish flashcards into that topic. And my Spanish flashcards have all kinds of things on them, and some of it is words that I'm trying to learn, but other things are grammatical constructions that I'm trying to practice. So, for example, with each other. That's consigo, kind of an odd word. We have the hiking routes, and that would be interesting to try to fit into things about my job. And then we have the wind blows or el viento sopla. And that would be kind of fun to try to work into things about my job. I mean, there are interesting ways I can think of doing it in an abstract way, but that's kind of the fun thing about this game. And I want them to be ready. So this is like a really interesting subjunctive structure that I want to practice. Quiero que estén listos. And of course the Spanish flashcards are going to be specific to what you're currently studying right now. The grammar that you need to work on or the specific vocabulary you want to be practicing right now. But the conversation topics are more timeless. So we have a list of 20 conversation topics. If you want to play this game, you can go to the link in the description of this video. And we've given you a resource where you can just download those 20 topics and you can make these cards yourself so you can play the game. All right, let's start playing. I'm just going to show you what would happen if I was playing this. So I'm just going to kind of shuffle the conversation topics. So I have things about my job that most people would find surprising. So that's kind of a fun topic. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this in front of me and that's the topic for the remainder of the game today. So while I'm playing this game today, I'm gonna try to fit my Spanish flashcards into this. Now let's start going through the flashcards. So this one that was on top, I want them to be ready. Let's think about a way I could use that to talk about my job, which is teaching Spanish. Obviously, I want my Spanish students to be ready for real conversations. That was kind of an easy one. So. Quiero que mis estudiantes estén listos para sus conversaciones. All right, let's see what happens next. And I didn't prepare for this. They want me to put this on. Okay, that's a little weird, but it is something maybe people would find surprising about my work is when I shoot videos, I have to put clothes on that make sense for the camera. So um, they want me to put this on. Specifically, this is important. The reason that I chose this flashcard is because I want to practice this grammatical construction where they want me to put something on. So I'm using the subjunctive and also ponerse. So I have to use this pronominal verb. So um, they want, let's say, um, they want me to put on uh, like a happy mood or to make myself happy. So quieren que me ponga feliz would be an interesting way to use this in my job. Um, they want me to make myself happy for my work. Um, that's kind of odd. Uh, to be in on it. Hmm. Estar en él. There would be an interesting way to make that apply to my job. So something most people would find surprising about my job is that when I put out videos like this, I don't just come up with the ideas on my own. Sometimes our coaching students help me come up with the ideas and that's how they're kind of in on it. So I could say, algo sorprendente es que mis estudiantes están en él. All right, let's try one more. This is kind of tricky. Oh, this is an easy one. I bet that, or apuesto que. So yeah, this one is so easy. I can just stick apuesto que at the beginning of something else that I used. So I could say, I bet that they would find it interesting, or apuesto que lo encontrarían interesante. 
So again, what we're doing is we're practicing all the things that we want to practice, but we're being kind of forced to use it in a context we haven't practiced previously, which makes it more adaptable. It makes it a bit more versatile in our brains. We can actually take these things and imagine using them in a real conversation in a surprising way. And yes, it's challenging, but it's challenging in a similar way that it would be challenging in real life. And there's a little less pressure because you're not face to face with someone. Now, while you play this game, you wanna make sure that you're not just coming up with these sentences in your head, you're actually speaking them out loud. And that will help enormously with the confidence that you need to do this kind of thing in real life. And if that's something you struggle with, I recommend checking out our other video on five tips for becoming confident when practicing on your own. I shot this video for our students who want to get more spoken confidence and they want to do it while they're practicing on their own, not just face to face with other people. You can follow those five steps to confidence while playing this game. To jump in and start playing this game, go to the link in the description of this video and download these 20 topics. Then get your Spanish flashcards and start practicing in all these fun and unpredictable ways. And then subscribe to this channel for more tips on making your Spanish study more fun and more effective.